Hello and welcome to Alumni Stadium for today's home game between Braintree and Ursuline Academy. Mike Wassel here for BCAM TV and the Womps coming in off of an impressive win over Bridgewater Raynham by the score of 14-5. to And the Womps so far through six games are a 5-1 and one record. So right now the Womps clicking on all cylinders, getting the job done offensively. But I think really the main difference this season from a season ago has been the defense. They've gotten excellent defensive work. And it all starts from the back end, where it starts with Duffy in goal, who has been excellent through the first six games. The only loss here on the season for Braintree came to Needham. So the Womps getting ready here today for a game with Ursuline Academy. We'll be back for the start of the first half right after this. Start of the first half here at Braintree High School with the opening face-off here at midfield. Virtual on the draw for the Womps, and it takes a weird bounce off the turf back in the direction of Braintree, and now it's picked up by Ursuline. Bears immediately losing possession, and it's picked up by Braintree. And the Womps throwing it away on their own, so neither team really able to gain any possession to begin. We've seen a turnover on both sides. Again, dating back to the last game where Braintree beat Bridgewater Raynham 14-5. to They really got the job done in the second half after a pretty close first half. They really took it away late in that game. And that was a road win, so that was an impressive win for this team as they look for the first goal of the contest. Generally, Braintree scores first, and they do again here today as Birchill scores right out in front. And Braintree has been accustomed to starting very soon in games on the scoring touch. Hopefully you don't hear the bleacher sounds too vividly here as the cross country team is going up and down the stands. Hopefully that'll subside very quickly. It certainly causes distraction to us up here as well as the viewers back at home. If you are wondering what that sound is. So just 53 seconds in, Braintree scored the opening goal. And we are set for a face-off here in midfield. battle and Braintree will gain possession Braintree with it in the attacking zone Birchill Circles the net, handing it over to Reinhold, looking right out in front for Burchill, who scores her second of the half. That was Deirdre again on the goal. Braintree has scored twice in the opening minute and a half. Two goals, both by Deirdre Virchill here in the first half, coming off of a hat trick in the win over BR. And now a chance to pick up another one here in this one. Off the draw. It caromed all the way onto the warm side of the field as. Reinhold was the first there to it. But Braintree guilty of the spacing. So that'll be the first opportunity for a goal here for the Bears. And the shot is wide 
as Duffy was in position. Frankie able to intercept and possess along the sidelines as it was knocked out of bounds. Frankie with the turnover. Both Birchill and Moore in there defensively trying to knock it away. They do, but guilty of the call. 22 minutes on the dot with the clock going. As the Bears slice inside and lose possession. But again, Braintree called for the whistle. Chance, and that one will score low to the far post. As their line has gotten on the board. Just like that, the lead cut in half. It's 2-1. So 2-1, Braintree on top, but Ursuline has gotten right back into it with the goal. And right off the draw, Virchill was able to control for a moment, then lost possession. And back the other way. Yaxter and Virchel both in there. Able to swat it away. And now Yaxter ahead for Reinold, who has Kelly way ahead of the field. And here she goes. Out on the break. And on the goalie. And the goalie with the save. As Kelly was denied out in front. Frankly able to fight for it and win in possession. And that has been something that Branch has been able to do all season. Just get Kelly ahead of the pack. That time she wasn't able to convert at the net, but she has been very good at doing that. Getting ahead, getting in on breakaways, and generally she'll convert those chances she wasn't able to do this time. But as this game progresses, if Branch gets another chance just like that, you would assume they will take advantage. 20 and a half to go. Here in the first half, as Branchy will have it, just shy of midfield. Right along the end line, it's Kelly. As that one is knocked away, and now the pass to midfield is deflected by Moore off of the stick of the Bears and Branchu will take over. So neither side has been very crisp on their passes early in the game, but Branchu still with the one goal edge as they try and further the lead as Reinold moves inside and swings around the defender and scores, bouncing that one home. As Branchu goes back up by two, it's 3-1. Nineteen forty-five to go, and another draw. Long wait in between the drop. As that one is smacked over in the direction of Yaxter. And that'll give possession to Braintree. It's been pretty much even off the draws. Both sides have controlled about half. Down out in front is Reinold who skips it home. 
right in between the legs of the goalie as Braintree had their largest lead now, up by three, four to one. So Braintree's had two different scorers who scored twice. Reinald and Birchill, 19.07 to go as the clock stops with the faceoff. Long's trying to take advantage here on a beautiful afternoon here at Braintree High School. Weather wasn't great over the weekend, but here to start this week. Clear skies. Temperatures in the upper 60s here at game time temperature. Wumps have now been whistled again. And a chance here for a goal. Is Duffy able to deflect that one away, getting the stick down? Batting that one back in the direction of her defense. And now it's Moore scampering ahead to midfield. Has Reinold ahead, wide open. Wasn't able to catch it cleanly. And she looks for the hat trick here in the first half. Sends it out right in front for Norton. Norton over to the back post, and that one wasn't crisp as that would have been a great chance out in front for Blumenthal wasn't able to catch it cleanly otherwise Branchy would have struck again right at the back post fifty yard line Branchy moves it in Kelly looking for Birchill and that one was read well as a defensive play able to take it away Back the other way, the Bears come as that one was deflected away by Tenaglia. And now another whistle, this time going against Ursuline. So the Wamps will take over here with 17 minutes to go in the first half, up 4-1. The other way, here comes Reinold looking for her hat trick as she shoots it wide. Possession will stay with Branchy first to it as Kelly over to Tenney now. And the spin move. Whistle for the check to the back. As Tenney comes in, shoots and skips it home. Past the goalie. Haven't gotten a ton of saves from her here in the game, and that's allowed Branchy to go up now by four. Sixteen, fourteen left in the first half. Frankie had a 2 0 lead at one point before Ursula was able to get as close as one. But ever since then, Braintree has responded with three unanswered and trying to win another draw. This will be Tenny on the draw. As that one was controlled in the backside of Frankie's defensive end. Possession stays for Ursuline, trying to maneuver out in front. There is the pass, but it doesn't connect. And now Braintree able to move back the other way, trying for transition. 
Has a scent as far as midfield for Kelly. Has Reinald ahead. If she wants to go that way, she didn't choose to. Frankie calling the set play from the sideline. Head coach Sullivan shouting out the instruction to her team. So far here in this first half, Braintree has run a lot of fast break. Everything has been on the move. They haven't had a lot of time to do what they are doing now, which is send it around the perimeter. Try and open up the insides. Make that extra pass and cut through the high slot. But a lot of space here for Kelly, who comes in, and that one rings the post as that one caught a piece of the goalie stick as well on the way through. As both teams battle for it, and it's now picked up by Braintree. Picked up by Balsamo. Near side of the field, and Kelly again. And they try and move it quickly. Norton slices through one and a second before the whistle is blown. Thirteen forty-five to go. The goalie is shaken up on the play. And that one deflected off of the helmet of the goalie. You hear the thump from here. You have to wonder about the concussion protocol anytime we see a blow to the head. The goalie seems to be okay. That's possession now will be in favor of the visiting Bears. Balsamo with a good back check, able to knock it away. As Brantry has it now. And the errant pass as it's still loose in the defensive end. Coming over is Norton. Norton has a couple players out in front if she wants to send it that way, but they weren't able to control it cleanly. Otherwise, again, Reinald was out in front, and she is still out in front as Branchy will make that pass right away, I would assume, from Norton to Reinold, who has out in front, makes the first move, and shoots low and scores for the hat trick here in the first half. Off at midfield. The Womps up by five. The possession will be with Braintree. Whistles here early in the game. Slow down the game flow. The Rancher right now getting the better on the scoreboard. As play continues, right out in front. Defensive work, able to knock it away. But it will be a good opportunity in front. The Rancher has good positioning. Players will have to back up now and give space for a shooting lane. To allow a good shot here. Try and score their second. They decide to turn around and...
take it to the outside where Moore able to have it for a moment for Braintree, but now right along the post and scoring the second of the half are the Bears right out in front. Face-off, midfield, 11-11 to go in the first half of play. Braintree up 6-2. Pop-up, and that one controlled. Again, Ursuline doing a nice job on the draws. It's the first time really this season, here at home at least, that Braintree has been out-positioned on the draws. Usually Braintree very successful at them. As the pass from Tanagli ahead to Rhino with three in the game so far. Has Kelly to her left. And will slow it down, pulling it back out. Waiting for her teammates to come up. Cutting it to the middle of the field on a nice pass to Birchill with some space. She has two, looking for her third here of the half. Womps moving it around the outside shell. As Kelly with the spin move has it deflect off her stick and now it's picked up by the goalie in the crease as the Wumps have to chase Blumenthal trying to knock it away and it gets as far as midfield the Axe are also defending now the Bears with a couple good runs the last minute and a half or so shooting space Violation on the Wamps with 9.45 to go. First half. Chance out in front. A similar spot to where Ursuline scored their second goal of the half. The shot is taken on a skipper as Duffy able to deflect it away. Wasn't able to catch it cleanly, but able to deflect it to the end line where it will be possession now for the Bears. Rolls off a stick as Braintree battles for it on the ground. Tanagli able to come away with it. With Norton to her left as she's going to run it up. So the push is the call to slow this thing down. The pass up to Yaxter and now that one was hit up in the face. And a check to the head will put the player in the box. So you actually have to adjust her face gear. That one was up around her eyes. Sometimes it's tough to see because the referees are behind the play. That one wasn't missed. Rantry man up. Here with eight and a half to go. First half of play. Silk six to two. Braintree on top. As Blumenthal coming back to take it away. Has Balsamo out in front. Now Birchill vacates that spot, which Branch was successful with in the BR game. They use that play a couple times as Jackster spins around one. And the whistle was before the shot. Eight minutes to go. And the extra will again have a good look just outside the 10 yard line here on the Alumni Stadium turf. The extra shoots and she scores. Low to the six side.
So Yaxter with her first of the game. And Rentry now with her seventh of the game. Seven forty left here in the first half and off the draw as Birchill may have caught in a stick up high as well. And Yaxter again able to get the call. Bears have had trouble here in the first half with the speed of Braintree. That one is loose. And possession now handed over as Braintree with the turnover. possession at the 45-yard line. In favor of the Bears who have it now. Long wait in between start and stop as Birchall trying to ward the player out of play. Trying to get possession back as that one was deflected away out of the pocket of the stick. Side of the goal and an error pass Nobody in particular, but Ursuline able to control. As the defensive Morrissey doing a nice job staying in the passing lane, shutting off any potential drive to the goal. As we have another stoppage. Ball will be just outside of the, or just inside the semicircle. Right to the left of Duffy. He's made a couple saves so far here in the first half. Haven't been a ton of shots in a direction. And there won't be another one here as that one was knocked away by Braintree and now it's picked up in her own goal by Duffy. Right in front of a crease. Able to take that one and send it out in the direction of Morrissey who mishandles. of the field was open for the moment as you actually able to get back in it as it pops free and it's picked up by the Womps sent forward by Lee and now it will be carried over midfield by Morrissey Morrissey on a long run up the fields run started on the 30 yard line here as she's now getting the pass over to Birchill who was collided with as the physical play has begun here at Braintree High School. And the Womps certainly will be okay with that sort of nature. They like to play that way. Braintree with a lot of hockey players of their own here on this team. And they will play physical just as much as any team. As obviously it's allowed. Three twenty to go. First half. Norton with possession trying for her first of the game. Takes the shot and scores, ripping it low to the stick side. The 
That's eight goals now here in the first half for Braintree. Trying to get to their magical number, which at this point here in the season is usually 12 goals. That's about what they average. 12 to 13 goals. So it looks like the head coach for Ursuline is going to have to come out and talk to her goalie who seems to be shaken up and dizzy after taking that shot to the head a while back, maybe seven or eight minutes ago. And they're going to have a goalie change as we'll take a break here on BCAM TV with the Wamps up 8-2 here over Ursuline. Play has resumed. 8-2, to 3-10 to go. Nice branch again, gaining possession off the draw. It away as Reinold trying to make that pass down low for Birchill. Both teams battle for it and the whistle. As Branchy will remain with possession. The call was offsetting, so both sides guilty of something. But because Branchy had possession, they'll remain with possession. See how much time Branchy wants to run here on this offensive sequence. Here in the final two minutes now. And Branchy has answered that question by running a good 35, 40 seconds already. Yaxter with the low shot, able to skip it home, her second of the half. Again, this is on the new goal that's come on. So goalie change has been made. Not due to performance, but more due to injury. Potentially a concussion area. The symptoms at least being shown and the referees making the right choice if they weren't sure. Take her out. controlling the draw in their own defensive end as Birchill with the high pass which is caught by Yaxter. Nice move around one has Birchill to her right if she goes that way with the short interior pass and she scores. Good quick movement as Yaxter finds Libby Birchill and she scores her first of the game. As Braintree has now scored in double digits again their tenth of the half. As Braintree continuing to get the offensive job done, game in, game out. the 
the 50-yard line as Braintree with possession here in the final minute as Birchill collided with a body hit. Braintree, if they so choose, can hold for potentially the final shot, but looks like they were looking for a quicker shot. Looking out front for Yaxter, now it's Reynolds swiping around one and scoring anyway, even with the potential penalty upcoming. Four and a half for Reynolds and now 11 on the board for Braintree. Branchy with a substitution. Here as Lee comes off. Not too sure for the exact reason. Final seconds of the first half. Waiting a the final horn. If Branchy wants to shoot, and they won't get the shot off as that comes to a close as Braintree closes out the first half with an 11-2 lead here at home, trying to pick up their sixth win of the season in seven tries. And the Wamps had a good chance out in front with Kelly in the final seconds, but wasn't able to register the shot before the half had come to a close. So a nine-goal lead at half as Braintree's led up front by Reinhold with four at half. We'll be back for second half action here on PCAM TV right after this. You're going to need me. You're going to need us. All of us. You're going to need our technical skills. Our math, our engineering skills. You're going to need our help with your water, your air, your food. You're going to need our organizational skills, our problem solving skills. You're going to need our determination, our honesty, our compassion. You're going to need the next generation of leaders to face the challenges the future will bring. And we promise we'll be there when you need us.
Welcome back to Alumni Stadium, start of the second half. Rantry and Ursuline, right now the Womps up 11-2. Mike Wassel here for VCAM TV. And Rantry has taken a nine-goal edge into the second half, trying to get again to that double-digit lead where Tenney has it knocked away. And the push from behind allows possession to stay with Braintree trying to get up again to that 10-goal lead, which will allow the clock to run for the remaining of the game. Braintree with a careless mistake down by the out-of-bounds line right behind the goal. Not able to keep that one in play and now giving away possession. Branchy's able to take over as Tenney has a little bit of an issue with it, but able to regain control. And they to the near side for Blumenthal as Branchy works it around. Kelly looking for Yaxer who's cutting out in front. Instead is Norton. Norton back outside of the semicircle. So Branch will have it at the 15-yard line, middle of the field. 23 and a half to go. As Norton shoots and scores, second of the game, first of the half. And Braintree is up now by 10 of 12-2. Branchy getting to that 10 goal mark as the clock will move as long as the lead is 10. And a nice save in front. First one since the goalie changed, but now it's thrown away, and Birchill able to pick it up. Two goals in the game for Norton to join Yaxter, who also has two, along with Deirdre Birchill, who scored the first two of the game. That one finds its way across the field. As Holland into the game for the first time here today. Blumenthal trying to go against the grain and a nice save made. The second in as many tries. Move over midfield by the Bears. First time here in the half they've had possession on the Braintree side. Trying to get back within nine. Whistle going against Braintree. Allowing a pretty good opportunity. Middle of the field again at that 10 yard line this time. Shoot and a score up high. So Emerson, who had come in at half, allows a goal. Another member of the girls' hockey team, but Emerson certainly shorter in goal than Duffy was. Makes it a little bit different of a, an attack for the opposing team. Generally they'll try and shoot a little higher probably based on the stature of the goalie. It went up high right above the helmet. Another 
the body check which allows Braintree to take over. Virgil. And play will restart again. Chance for her second of the game coming off the restart. And she shoots, and that one was saved. So three saves in succession. After Braintree had gotten anything at will here in the game. We're now finding a little bit more resistance. Doherty into the game for her first time. Another man up situation for Braintree, second of the game. Shot goes wide, but Branch is still able to keep possession. Blumenthal nearly stumbling down. Out in front, it's Norton. And she now has a hat trick, her third of the game. And that is her second straight game with three goals. Clock still moving. As again, it's back up to a 10 goal lead. Nineteen minutes to go in regulation. Here comes Burchill with the quick pass. And that one doesn't connect, trying to go to Darty. It's been a lot of stoppages here in the game, especially at the end of the first half. And here to begin the second half, we've seen multiple stoppages that have gone on for a little while that have completely slowed down the speed of the game even with the clock going but it's just slowed down the momentum the intensity Blumenthal looking behind the goal it's Kylie into the game for the first time out in front and a save. Looking for a pass instead, trying to carry it through three players, and Branchy able to knock it away. situation slash for the second time here in the game when kept in the field of play by the outstretched stick that was Ursuline making a nice play that time. Sent up the far side and getting pushed from behind as Birchill got knocked down. And that'll give Frenchy possession.
So the referee had missed for a moment. Search line had a player that had two yellow cards, which would result in a red card being exited from the game. Darty swinging it over to Kylie as Branchy has brought in some reserves. And that has been something that Branchy has been able to do game in, game out with extended leads. Getting a good chance for some reserve players to get in the game in game situation. Now and back over to Kylie as they move it around to Burchill. Burchill swings through and shoots and scores, skipping that one home past the goalie and the Womps up 11. And a timeout taken here by Ursuline with Braintree up now with their largest lead by 11, 14 to 3 with 15.36 to go in regulation. We'll be back with the remaining 15.36 right after this. Play has resumed after the timeout by Ursuline. And off the draw, Tenney battling for it. And possession will go in favor of the Bears. Womps up 11. There's Ursuline calling the timeout, trying to find a way to get a couple of positive things going forward here as this one concludes. As that one is shot wide. Far side of the field. Now side of the post. Looking for a strike here to get it back to a 10 goal game. Running a lot of clock in the process. Nice pass out in front. The shot and that one on a skip as Emerson able to make her first save since coming on. Now trying to make the pass. Able to get it around the stick. Nice move by Morrissey able to skip around two. Juggling that one around and now making a run towards the goal as that one eludes the stick now of Kylie. And Branchy continues with possession, but now a turnover. 13.50 to go. Possession stays with Braintree as Blumenthal makes one move. Trying to make a second. And she circles around the goal. Kylie splitting through one and will come back to the opposite side. Branchu will take over right at the side of the goal. Kylie shoots and scores, sending that one low. 12.45 to go, clock moving. Branchu with their 15th of the game. Excellent afternoon here for spring sports. You see, I believe it's the JV baseball team playing behind the field. Not much of a wind here today, and temperature is very comfortable. Very ideal for this time of the year.
good defensive pressure as Branchard continuing to battle here, even up by 12, continuing to work on some defensive strategy. Looking for a run from the corner as Ursuline trying for a goal. And the high pass is picked up by Branch. That was five one players in their own ends. Certainly factoring on that play that slowed it down. As here is right out in front a breakaway goal scored by Blumenthal. That was very easy for the Wamps. Second breakaway of the game, one denied, and now one converted. That was the first chance for Blumenthal. As she pockets her first of the game. And 15 to go here in the second half. This branch is going to pick up their sixth win of the season. Still just one loss. It's been an excellent start for head coach Sullivan and her team. Expected big things this season and they've responded well. Pass out in front and the goal as that one able to get past Emerson. So four goals on the board now for Ursuline. Two in the first half, two in now here in the second half. Battle for it off the draw. Both teams going for it. And now it will be Virchil who ends up coming away out of the pack with it as that one was knocked away from behind. Twenty-five left out in front and that one finds the back of the goal as scoring was Holland so Holland getting her first of the game Holland just a freshman getting a chance to play here on the varsity level just like she did for the hockey team. Good job by Holland off the draw trying to send the pass and that one a little bit too high for Blumenthal. to handle as Braintree able to pick it up at midfield and again knocked away from behind but play continues here as Holland has it and a push from behind Six 
45 left as Holland has it on the far side of the field. Has it knocked away from behind. And they'll restart. Maybe 10 yards up from the last stoppage. Back behind the goal as Blumenthal trying to circle around. Gets it back to the top of the semicircle as Branchy runs some clock. Quick pass and another one too high for Blumenthal who wasn't able to catch that one. Good defense as Blumenthal got back into the field of play and now it's knocked away by Kylie as the stick check allows possession for Ursuline. Middle of the field, the shot and there is the save by Emerson. That was her best since coming in. Shot, and there's another save by Emerson. Able to make that one going down low this time. So, starting to get tested a little bit more as this game has gone on. And she's seen five shots since coming in, in relief of Duffy in the first half. Playing here as the two goalies getting a half a play each. This one was comfortably in, in front for Braintree after a half a play. Long run here at the near side of the field. That'll be kept in the field of play. As Moore defends the shot, and there is a goal for Ursuline. The third of the half, fifth of the game. And Rancher still up 12. Much better second half that the Bears have played here, but not nearly good enough against a Braintree team that has a very good high-powered attack. And for most of this game, Braintree has been able to, or at least here in the second half, lead by 10+, plus, which has really sped up the speed of the game. minutes to go here in regulation. Virtual trying to defend and did a nice job to make that pass go errant but it will stay in the field of play. Now a chance as again we'll have the whistle. There is another save by Emerson as she saw that one go wide of the goal now as it deflects away and to the outside right by the boundary. As Branchard continues to get the job done. Both goalies have done a nice job here in the game. Branchard, Duffy in the first half and now Emerson getting her real first test of the season.
there's another save from Emerson as that shot found its way through. Now the rebound is picked up and finds the back of the goal after Emerson was out of a crease. Not able to slow that one down enough as it deflected back out in front. And it makes it now a uh, 17 to 6 game, an 11 point lead for the Wamps. 11 goal lead. And they have won most of their games by double digits this season. As they continue to try and close this one out here in the final now 60 seconds. That's essentially one possession away from ending this one. As we get another stoppage, which hasn't been surprising here in the game. Out in front as that one deflects away. 20 seconds to go. Rancher going to improve to 6 and 1 on the season. One last chance for the Wamps as the shot is saved from Darty. And that'll do it. Here is that one sent out by the goalie. One last touch. And there is the sound of the air horn as that one closes it out. The final score here today is Branchy wins 17 to 6. Really never in danger in this one as the Wamps led from start to finish, scoring the first two goals of the game before Ursuline made it close at 2 1. But after that point, Branchy ended up leading 10 2 at half and never really looked back and led pretty much this whole second half by a double digit lead, which allowed the clock to run. And Branchy was led. Again here today, Reinald had four goals in the game, Norton with their second consecutive hat trick, and Braintree also getting two goals each from Libby Burchill, Deirdre Burchill, and Katie Yaxter as the Wamps win their sixth game of the season to improve to six and one. These two teams will meet each other later in the season at Ursuline, but Braintree getting another home win where they've done a lot of home cooking in the early part of the season, and they'll spend a lot of their second half of the season on the road. For the final time here, Braintree beats Ursuline 17-6. For Christine Patterson, I'm Mike Wassel. We'll see you next time.